Welcome to day 23 of 40 seconds for 40 days. We are now standing here on Erev Shabbos of the final Shabbos of the year 5780. I want to share with you a reflection of mine based on the Nesiva Shalom. When he talks about Shabbos, he quotes a Gemara in Shabbos on Kuf Yud Chesma Beis. Kol HaMashaber Shabbos, Gilchasa Afilo Obed Avorazara Kedor Enosh Mochlono. Anyone who keeps Shabbos according to the laws as best as they can, even if they are an idol worshiper, like the like the worst generation of idol worshippers, even if they are doing the worst possible sins of idol worship, Shabbos will allow them to achieve forgiveness for their sins. And the obvious question is, how can that be? You're serving other gods? And Shabbos can serve as an atonement, can serve as a way for you to achieve forgiveness. How could that be? And says the Nesiva Shalom. Kol HaMashaber Shabbos Kilchasa Afilo Gerazar Kedor Enosh Mochelno. Why? Ki Ayide HaShabbos Kodesh. Hu Choser El HaShoresh. That through Shabbos, one returns to their root. What is the root of man? What is the root of our life? What is the essence of our life? our connection with the Almighty, our relationship with Hashem. And this past year, inevitably, many of us have likely been challenged in our relationship with Hashem. How do we understand why God does things like this to the world? How could you even have a year like 5780, a year in which the world was ravaged in unprecedented ways, in ways that none of us have ever witnessed in our lifetime? How does God do these types of things? How could this happen? What should our thoughts be as we enter into this last Shabbos of the year, a year that most of us are ready to just say goodbye to? And I think the answer is that our desire, our rutzon, our will has to be that this should be a Shabbos of returning to the Shoresh, of returning to the root. We should be blessed with the beautiful Shabbos in which we are able to return to Hashem, strengthen that relationship, reflect on the fact that we can't truly ever begin to understand what happened this past year, but hope and pray for a beautiful upcoming year, a year 5781 of growth closer to Hashem, of growth, growth closer to each other, a year of health, happiness, and joy for all. Wishing everyone a beautiful final Shabbos of the year.